Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah one only. Allahu samad. Allah the absolute, the eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. If he gets not, nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufwan ahad. And there is nothing like him. This is a four line definition. If anyone says that so and so candidate is God, and if that candidate fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. <laughs> this Surah Ikhlas is the touchstone of theology. This concept of believing in one sole creator and sustainer of the whole of universe is the only uniting factor for the whole of mankind. It is the only solution for global unity and peace. I would like to end my talk with a quotation of Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 73. Ye men, there's a parable set forth for you. Listen to it. Those whom you call upon besides Allah, they cannot even create a fly. And even if they got together, and if the fly took away something from them, they cannot even release from it. Feeble are those who petition, feeble are those on whom they petition. Jazakallah, Brother Zakir. Truly, this conference has been very beneficial for many of us. I would once again like to thank all my brothers on the day for their contribution tonight. May Allah reward all of you. The credit for this program goes to two teachers of Islamic International School, Sister Maisa and Sister Sadi. May Allah reward them for their efforts. Ameen. We welcome our distinguished international speakers who have decided to join in with the children. And uh, as we appreciate all the children making their presentation, the IIS school children and their teachers, especially the Islamic teachers, Sister Mayasar and Sister Saida, who have got this performance together. Inshallah, this conference would continue after we have had the speakers meet the tall international speakers with the tiny children who are just students of seventh standard or below from the Islamic International School. And the school has been conceived and developed by Dr. Zakir Naik, and it provides an environment, you know, the Islamic International School, in which the student can learn, understand, and practice their way of life, Islam, as they strive for excellence in other subjects. It molds the student's characters according to the righteous Islamic tenets and inculcates in them the values and concepts of compassion, truthfulness, and universal brotherhood. You saw before you all their courage, their conviction, their confidence, and inshallah they should make the future da'is when inshallah all our da'is tend to retire. May I also mention that though we had other international speakers, the teachers, with all their unmitigated efforts and hard work, and due to the limited time available, they could not develop to have the other people enact because there were just two, three teachers and so many speakers all coming together in Mumbai. I would request our international speakers to pass their comments if they have. Brother Hussein Yi would like to present small pen, inshallah, making a writer also of the speaker. That's Al Brother Hussein Yi. Alhamdulillah, all praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has given guidance to all the students and especially to the teacher who have guided them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward all of you with all your effort and may Allah subhanahu wa strengthen your iman and strengthen the iman of the children. Now on my behalf, I would like to give a small gift to my, my junior. <laughs> Allah, it is a small pen. Faddal. So that he will remember me, inshallah. <laughs> Jazakallah. <laughs> and, we have, and we have many more juniors. There is also Brother Abdul Rahim Green Jr., there's Dr. Bilal Philip Jr., Brother Yusuf Estes Jr., and the others. We will ask Dr. Bilal Phillips to kindly give his comments. I know it's funny. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah. Um, I would just like to say that, uh, alhamdulillah, this was quite a, an entertainment for all of us. It's, it was fun to see what oneself looks like, you know, as portrayed by the children. 
Um, alhamdulillah, uh, I w I'd like to say that my double uh, actually knew my speech better than I did. <laughs> I had to read it from a paper. I had a paper to help me, but he had it all memorized. <laughs> alhamdulillah. So I'd like to hire him in the future <laughs> to sub for me. <laughs> We have to uh, now doubles, you know, to cover up for you all. Especially, I think, at the, at the school level, maybe at the same level, they may have more peer pressure in putting the dawah. All of you have taken on a big uh, responsibility now to carry on our legacy <laughs> in the school and beyond, inshallah. Barakallah fikum. Now, Brother Salim Al-Amri. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi man wa ala amma ba'd. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his divine names and attributes to bless those brothers, to bless our successors insha'Allah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them among the carriers of the banners of Islam. Insha'Allah they will carry the word of Islam and insha'Allah, and insha'Allah, we will, inshallah, sleep peacefully in our graves because there are real men behind us carry the banners of Islam. May Allah bless them. May Allah protect them. May Allah preserve them. Amen. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You know, they say that singers know that they are successful when people start repeating their songs. And um, I, think, I think the most beautiful compliment that can come to anyone is when you have a young a young child fond of you to the point that they try to imitate you was the person that imitated me mashallah there were only two problems he's a much better speaker than I am and he is also better looking mashallah so very well done mashallah very impressive may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them ya Rabbul Alam brother Abdul Rahim Green to give his final comments. Um, alhamdulillah. I have to say that when I was watching all the doubles of my fellow speakers, I could not sit on the chair because I was laughing so much. I was sliding off laughing. Of course, when my double came up, my face went completely straight. It's rather like what Queen Victoria said, we are not amused. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it really is, mashallah, fantastic, alhamdulillah, to see these kids. I mean, to stand up on stage in front of everybody. Do you know how much guts that takes? Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and increase them in iman and taqwa and ilm as well, inshallah. And, and, and like Sheikh Salim said, inshallah, with, with, with boys like this behind us, alhamdulillah, we're looking forward to a great future for Islam, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. We have Sheikh Jafar Idris who has just come in and I invite Sheikh Jafar to kindly come on stage. We had his enactment. Sheikh Jafar was not here to see that. He was busy with some other TV talk. Inshallah, we request him, though he had not seen the enactment, to kindly pass his kind comments. Uh, That's Sheikh Jafar Idris moving up on the stage from my right. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, give him a warm welcome. Allahu Akbar. Sheikh Jafar is one of the most renowned scholars of Islamic studies as well as understanding the contemporary world. Sheikh Jafar, we had a very entertaining time seeing all these children even present your good self before us. We would like you to kindly give them your kind words of encouragement and comments. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make these uh, boys, to give them ilm, to make them scholars, to make them among the best da'is, not only in India, but in the world, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam sallallahu wa ala ali wa sahibi ajma'in amma abad. And I've tried my level best that we know that in childhood we could not have a lot of training, we did not know many things. So we have tried that at least the children of our school, not only my son, but all the children of Islamic International School have a better grounding 
and a better understanding, at least a thousand times better than what I had. So that is the reason, mashallah, we have started this school. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he helps us and helps this